Did you know your child is making big gains in language and understanding between two and three years of age? The number of words your child can say grows very quickly in this year. By two years, your young child will be able to use up to 50 recognisable words and may even be starting to put two words together at a time, such as mummy, car. They may babble in imitation of adult sentences. Amazingly, by two and a half years, they may be using 200 words. Also, by two and a half, they can understand many complex sentences. You may hear your child talking clearly about what they are doing while playing. Older children will be asking many what and where questions. Your two to three year old loves spending time with you, doing things with you, helping you. They're starting to use their brain to imagine and begin playing pretend games. They're ready to move into the wider world of books and language that show them things that they may not have seen before. Things in other cities or countries or things that are not real. Your child remembers well-loved parts and pictures of stories. By around two and a half years, they may be able to search through books a page at a time to find favourite pictures. By three years, your child may be starting to draw lines and showing they can communicate through drawing. Their pictures may look like scribble, but they can now tell you what they mean. This is the beginning of writing. What can you do now to continue to encourage your child's natural learning? Remember the five top tips. Share time every day looking and listening, talking, singing and rhyming, reading and drawing. Looking and listening. Keep sharing time with your child. Enjoy watching them growing and learning new words every day. Watch their delight in playing and copying whatever you do. Talking. Help add to your child's growing list of words by answering all the what and where questions with new words for them. Some of these new words may include family names, action words that say what people or things do, and words that describe people and things. Continue playing games with your child and introduce games that involve some early problem solving. This could include matching games, puzzles, counting, and some building activities. Singing and rhymes. Simple rhyme games can now include songs and rhymes with numbers. Use fingers and toes to count with as you sing. You may be able to use songs and games from carefully chosen TV programs so your child knows they can sing them when the TV is turned off.
Reading. Build your child's developing imagination by introducing them to books with people, places, animals and situations they may not have met before. Ask your local librarian for good books for this age. Try to read to your children in your own language. If you have no books in your own language and they are not available at your local library, write a translation under the English words in your own books. This will make it easier for you to read the same words each time and not have to translate as you go. Make up simple short stories of your own to tell. And don't be surprised if your child asks for your stories again and again. Encourage your child to look through some books by themselves. Show them they can sometimes remember the stories that you've read to them before. Praise your child when you see them reading a book to themselves. Tell them they are becoming a reader. Soon, they'll be able to share books with younger children, brothers and sisters. Find books that show things or places you've been to with your child. The zoo, farm, playground, playgroup, doctor, park and shopping. Talk about what you did there as you read the book. Show photo albums to your child and talk about family and friends. Have them find the people they're familiar with. When you read books to your child, look at the cover first and read them the title. This will help them remember what the book is about. As you read more books together, your child will learn to listen to longer stories. Drawing and writing. Your child has been watching you write shopping lists, addresses on envelopes, emails, letters and notes. They want to do what you do and have learnt to hold a thick crayon or pencil carefully. Give them different coloured paper in all sizes and shapes to draw on. Use old envelopes, paper bags and all sorts of scrap paper. Help them send drawings to family or friends. Ask them to tell you what they've drawn and praise their attempts. Build up their self-confidence to keep trying and they will enjoy writing later at school. The TV. Children copy what they see. This is how they are learning. So try to keep them from watching violent games and TV programs, including cartoons and the news. Build up a list to remember of appropriate TV programs, short DVDs and videotapes for your child. Programs with songs, animals and simple language will be best. Find and share bright DVDs and videos with other families and friends. Research suggests limiting TV watching by young children to, at most, one hour a day. As your child grows older, part of that television time may include carefully chosen computer games where they are learning and mastering new skills. Your child's first three years are their most important. By spending time developing their skills in these young years, you lay a strong foundation for lifelong learning. Who can help you with your child's learning? Always ask your family and friends. Don't forget your local doctor or community worker. If your child goes to childcare or a playgroup, 
ask the staff there. If you have any concerns about your child's development, now is a good time to see your paediatrician or local doctor to help you find the assistance your child may need. Research shows that doing something at this age, rather than waiting to see if your child catches up at school, can make a big difference in later learning and development. If you know already that your child has additional needs, ask your doctor or special needs worker for further ideas. And then there's the Early Words website, www.earlywords.info.